Good morning. Returning to our breaking news out of Melbourne and police have confirmed that a woman's body has been found at a home in Skye in the city's southeast. A man is currently in custody and the homicide squad is on its way to the scene. A second man has been arrested in connection to the death of Melbourne man Wayne Amy. John Anthony Ryan was arrested by detectives just after midnight at a home in Coburg. The 36-year-old is currently assisting police with their inquiries. Mr Amy's body was found yesterday in bushland in country Victoria after he was last seen at a Turak restaurant last Tuesday. Queensland police are appealing for information after a South Korean man who'd been in Brisbane on a working holiday went missing earlier this week. 28-year-old Min Tae Kin was last seen at his home at Cannon Hill in the city's east on Monday afternoon. Earlier that day, a large sum of money was withdrawn from his bank account. His mother, back home, says nothing seemed out of the ordinary when she spoke with her son on the phone the day before he vanished. Most of the country will swelter through the first heat wave of summer today, with temperatures set to reach at least 35 degrees in Melbourne, Adelaide, Canberra and Hobart. In Melbourne, the heat wave has caused problems for commuters, with dozens of train services cancelled. You'd really expect that they'd have a system that could at least accommodate a hot day. So I really don't know what's going to happen tonight. It's going to be a bit of a hit and miss affair, I think. Meantime, a total fire ban remains in place in South Australia after crews spent the night at a large grass fire in the Adelaide Hills. Taking a quick look at sport now, an Australian cyclist, Michael Rogers, has been suspended after testing positive to a banned substance. Rogers won bronze at the 2004 Athens Olympics and is also a three-time world champion. And cricket test stars Dave Warner, Steve Smith and George Bailey will all play in the Big Bash this weekend. Meantime, England could drop wicketkeeper Matt Pryor for the Boxing Day test. Good morning, Lisa. This is just one of the many Christmas trees we've seen tonight as we celebrate the countdown towards Christmas. Travelling around the world, we visited New York and tonight we're in the winter wonderland in the middle of Hyde Park in London. If you're coming here at this time of year, the festive season, then this is a must-do to put on your list and we've got a great deal for you if you're thinking of coming back to the home country, which is coming up right after the weather this morning. Good morning to you. A few morning showers about in Cairns, but a lovely warm top of 31 degrees today. Townsville up to 32. Bit of cloud for the Gold Coast and Brisbane. Sydney mostly sunny and 26. A lovely warm day in Canberra, 30. Melbourne, 26 degrees. Hobart, 22. And Adelaide, sunny and 35. Perth, partly cloudy and 30. Alice Springs, partly cloudy and a top of 38 degrees and some showers and storms in Darwin and a top of 33 degrees.